Ya sí, 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 sí. Sí, sí, Time check, 12.37, yep. Mr. Daryl Chin. Uh, we're still at the cemetery, we're still uh, in the fifth round of the walk. Yep. What do you think of our eight candidates so far? Okay, I think uh, it's quite amazing that they finally found their fighting spirit after a while, you know, the kind of thing they found to a regular rhythm and they got into this uh, really good sort of, they got this really good thing going and I think all eight of them are very strong and they send a good chance of like passing through the whole selection. What do you think? Um, I don't know man. Uh, I think all the weak ones mm. were weeded out in the previous rounds. Yep. This walk was actually, I think one of the tougher, not physically, but mentally. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously there's potholes on the ground, so it is physically tough, but I mean, yep. it's also mentally tough. I mean, they started walking just before uh, sunset, 6.30. Yep. Now it's 12.30. They've been walking for six hours straight non-stop. That's right. All the mentally weak ones were weirded out. So I think that's why that's that's sort of sort of reason why there's a synergy going on mm. here. So I think the eight that we have left is pretty good. Okay, I okay. Honestly I think uh, it's not so much weeding out, but these guys are the ones that really want it bad enough. And they may not be physically superior than the ones that were out already. Yep. But they want it so bad, like you know, like uh, while we were filming just now, like one of one or two of them. Uh, they look a bit cross-eyed from exhaustion and stuff like that. Even though they're so exhausted, they still want it so bad. Can I ask you who's your favourite? Pasli. Pasli? Yeah. Okay. Because I go for the tall guys, you know, the tall guys are great. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Kelvin. Because mm. he's, he's, he's a good apple, you know, he uh, has good leadership qualities. Uh, even in times of distress and stress, he is always uh, the energy of the group. Yep. We can see how tired he is. Yeah. But Kelvin Cole, yeah, I think he has my vote. I think, uh, gonna make it I think these two, uh, they sort of take the extra load out in the beginning from other people, you know, they try to, you know, put in a bit more and they're sort of zapping their strength also. So the yeah. fact that they're still in it is a very good sign of their determination. Yeah, let's go check it out. Last stretch, one kilometer. Oh. Guys, I can win it, you can win it. Yeah. Alright guys, come on. Wait, wait, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> This is the end for the guys. Okay, we are heading towards uh, their last, uh, say, about 500 meters. Okay, and then we'll call it a night for the uh, castle back. Then we'll proceed on to the next mission. Thanks, sir. Alright, guys, time check 12 a.m. in the morning. Um, little do the guys know that they're actually about to approach the finish line. 500 meters, like as Captain Jason said. So we're just gonna run up ahead, get the reactions as they come in, and when they're told that they reach the finish line, let's check it out. Up, right, up, 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 right, 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 up, the candidates have only completed 5 laps of 21km Kasovac, but they have already busted the 4 hour deadline by 2 hours. Dark Commander Alvin Tan gives the order to pull the plug and move on to the next test. What else awaits our final 8 candidates as they struggle to stay awake? Join us in the next episode to find out.